Hello guys, Silo56 here, and today I'll be bringing you a different type of video. I'm going to be telling you my top 5 favorite Dragon Ball Z characters. And these are my personal 5 favorites, so if you guys have a problem with them, then you tell me what your top 5 favorite is. Um, I'm going to be including... This list is going to be including my favorite, and uh, let's just, for instance, say I say Teen Gohan. That means, like, the Cell Games, games Teen Gohan, because everybody knows that Gohan kind of got lame after the Cell Games. So if I say Teen Gohan, that means Teen Gohan. So if I say, um, I don't know, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, that means Super Saiyan 3 Goku only. So if I say Goku, that means his first form, you know, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, that's, that's like, that's a different top five character so i'm just gonna do it that way transformations are their own characters so here we go guys i hope you guys enjoy this give it a thumbs up and you guys tell me what your top five favorite uh dragon ball z characters are and here we go number five is piccolo i love piccolo so much he was such a cool character even in the majin saga he was still in there and fighting even like you know he was super cool i just love piccolo he was kind of like the batman of uh, dragon ball z i loved him because he trained gohan and he basically was the master for goten and trunks too during the majin saga um he i don't know he was just always my favorite he was always the coolest and like it always seemed like when the guys were in trouble he would show up and he kept up with the best of them and he got like super new mechie and he was able to take on an android by himself you know if cell wouldn't have showed up then um yeah he would have been absolutely been able to beat uh android 17 and so that's why i like a piccolo he's my number five pick and i hope you guys really like him too uh, yeah, he was just, I don't know. There's something about Piccolo that's awesome. And if I didn't put Piccolo on this list, I'd be kind of crazy because he's just super awesome. So that's my number five. And number four will be... Number four will be Fujito. And uh, I love Fujito because the cool earrings. Like, come on now. Like, that's what makes the whole costume. No, I'm kidding. That's not the only reason I like Fujito. He was such a cool character. So before Fujito and Fusion happen everybody was always like dude what would happen if vegeta and goku were like one person they would be like awesomely strong and stuff like that and so when fusion came people were like oh my gosh goku and vegeta vegeta should totally fuse and stuff like that and i totally agreed and um so then when they actually did fuse into vegeta everybody was like no, this is the ultimate character. They should have unlimited power. They're like the coolest. They're your two, like the two main character ishes characters fused into one, having this awesome power. And they look super boss. They just, I don't know. That's awesome. Vegito's awesome, all right? If you don't like Vegito, then you, you, I don't know. I don't know what's the matter with you. Vegito's literally the coolest looking character. And he's just, he's super cool. And if I didn't put Vegito on this list, I feel like I would be hated for it, so I'm going to put Fujito on this list, and yeah, he's super awesome. I don't know what else to say about him, and I loved how they made him um, go Super Saiyan Blue in uh, Dragon Ball Super. Uh, spoilers, by the way, if you didn't know that, but I think, I mean, hopefully you knew that. I'm sorry, I probably should have put spoilers. I'll, I'll, I'll put it right before I say, you know, the spoiler part. All right, on to number three, my top third character of Dragon Ball Z will be... That's right, boys. Number three on my list is the one, the only, Majin Fujita. you probably like, what? Majin Fujita? Or you'd be like, yeah, Majin Vegeta. I knew he should have been on this list. Then, uh, yeah, Majin Vegeta is where it's at, guys. I... <sighs> where do I begin? So, Vegeta basically had been a whole a turd for, like, the whole Dragon Ball Z series, all right? He had been a turd, but he helped out, and he started becoming our friends. He started growing us more and more as time went on. But this, Majin Vegeta, he went back to his Saiyan ways. He became, like evil again but then at the end when the earth needed his help most and his family and friends he decided that he would take the ultimate sacrifice this time he wanted to be the hero and i love this because he like was willing to kill himself for the world he was willing to save his friends and family for the world i mean like he was willing to do that he was willing to kill himself for the world all right sure he didn't kill majin i mean majin boo but i mean he tried. He confessed to Trunks that he loved him as a son and he was proud. He just, this was a, this always makes me cry. I don't know why. It's just, 
this is a really touching moment, and if I didn't add Majid Vegeta, I feel like I would regret regret it for the rest of my life. I would feel like I would regret not putting him on this list. So uh, here's number three, guys, and I hope you guys really like Majin Vegeta because honestly, he's he's amazing, guys. And if you haven't watched this episode of Dragon Ball Z, then I don't know what you guys are doing with your lives. If you're watching this video, you don't know who Majin Vegeta is. All right. Well, that's number three. So you guys ready for number two? It it really hurts me, and I think I'm gonna get some hate for uh for uh, not having some people in this list. But uh, here's number two. Frieza. That's right, guys. The one, the only Bardock. He is amazing guys he's the son of he's the son of goku yes that's that's right no he's a father of goku all right and look at this look at this cutscene. this is like he went up a whole bunch of, up against a whole bunch of frieza's men he was a low-class warrior but he went up there and fought he he saw his friends die in front of him he wanted to get revenge and he would do nothing he was he would do nothing to stop to to get revenge on frieza he was just willing to just go out there, even though he had knew he had no chance. He just wanted to avenge his family and friends, and he wanted to protect the people he loved. And dude, what's not epic about that? And he was just awesome. He's an awesome character, and if you don't like Bardock, I think you should stop watching Dragon Ball Z, leave, and, and watch him, and learn to love him, or else, I, I don't know. You're not you're not right in the head if you don't like Bardock. Bardock was literally a cool character. I'm glad they always put him in every Dragon Ball Z game because everybody loved Bardock. Everybody loves him. And if you don't love Bardock, I don't know what's the matter with you. I mean, seriously, you have some issues. I don't know. I don't know what the heck's the matter with you. He went up against Frieza, guys. He wasn't even a Super Saiyan. He went up against Frieza. Of course, sure, he died, but he went out fighting, bro. Did you not see how many men he took out with him? He went out fighting, and guess what? Frieza was going to destroy the planet anyways, so I mean, uh, somebody might as well fight. Everybody called him a weirdo, a loser, and laughed at him, but guess what? He went up against there, even though he had no chance. He's sure he died, but I, I mean, he's Bardock, guys. He's Bardock, guys. It's just, whew, he's Bardock. All right, there's number two, and here's some honorable mentions. So this is where I probably get some hate at for the honor the, the honorable mention part because you know these these aren't gonna be number one all right here's honorable mentions here we go future gohan future gohan's in my honorable mentions i love future gohan i mean he's he's definitely up there on my list and i mean if i could have a top 100 dragon ball z characters you could bet that he would be in the top 20 uh i just love future gohan he unfortunately died and i mean he was super cool he trained trunks and he was just cool. I mean, I wish that, um, you know, the Boo Saga Gohan could be as cool as the future uh, Gohan. Uh, so this is an honorable mention. The next honorable mention will be all the Gokus. I did not put Goku at number one because he's a main character. He already gets enough love and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong. I love Goku, okay? Goku's amazing, and I just, I don't know. He's just not one of my favorites, but... When, I mean, Goku's Goku, and he'll always have a special heart in DBZ history, obviously, because he's the main character. He's an honorable mention, and my on another honorable mention will be Brawly. Brawly is awesome. Legendary Super Saiyan. Wish he was canon. He's just super cool. Like, Legendary Super Saiyan strong. It took, like, five Super Saiyans to, like, even hurt him. So there's Brawly, and here is number one, guys. I hope you like number one. Please like it. If you guys uh, haven't figured out yet, number one for me is Future Trunks. Who? <laughs> Where do I begin? Well, Future Trunks is pretty awesome for a couple reasons. Everybody wanted to time travel. Everybody's wanted to time travel before. Plus, when there was only one Super Saiyan, Goku, he came back in time and he wrecked Frieza. We waited. We we watched like 50 episodes of Goku watch like just trying to de defeat Frieza. He does it in like three episodes. 
Okay, first of all, he did in three episodes. Stunning, amazing. He defeated Frieza, like that. He was uh, Super Saiyan. He's from the future. Vegeta and Balma's son? Like, oh my gosh. There was so much mysterious around him, and then he figured out all this stuff. And he he was a time traveler, and he wanted to protect the future, and he would do anything to do it. He was cool, he was awesome, he had purple hair, blue hair, blue hair now in Super. And uh, look at this, even in Super, he became like a false Super Saiyan God, when, which this transformation is called Super Saiyan Rage. But it's like as strong as a Super Saiyan Blue, which is Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. And like, he just kept up with everybody, and look at now, look at him now. He's just amazing. So if you don't like Trunks... I'm sorry. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. I hope you agree with my number one. If you don't, then tell me what your number one is. Thanks for watching, guys. Give it a thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed.